Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and to my first video of 2022. Now previously on my channel I've spoke a lot about how to do things like electrical calculations. In this series I'm going to talk more about why and the reasons behind the requirements. So if you're ever in a situation where you're doing a written exam and you have to explain the reason for the requirements or maybe you want to explain it to your apprentice, hopefully this series of videos will be useful to you. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to hear about more videos like this. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the adiabatic equation, which is something that I've spoken about in previous videos, but I wanna talk a little bit about the reason why we need to do the adiabatic equation. You see, the purpose of the adiabatic equation is to make sure that the circuit can withstand the effect of short circuit current and fault current. And the level of the short circuit current or fault current is not related to the size of the load that you've designed the circuit for, it's related to the impedance of the earth fault loop for uh, fault current or the loop between line and neutral for short circuit current. So when we're designing a circuit from scratch, we start off with the load in kilowatts and we calculate the design current, we select the size of the circuit breaker, we calculate the size of the cable and we select the cable and then we do the volt drop calculation to make sure that the volt drop doesn't exceed the maximum permitted for the type of circuit. But then what we need to do is to do the adiabatic equation to make sure that the cable that's been selected is capable of withstanding the effect of the short circuit current and the fault current. Now the fault current and the short circuit current are not related to the size of the load that you've designed the circuit for, but they're related to the impedance. So when it comes to fault current, that's related to the earth fault loop impedance. And just by using Ohm's law, we can find out what the fault current will be by dividing the voltage by the ZS. When it comes to short circuit, we can find that out by dividing the voltage by the ZSC, which is the loop between line and neutral for the circuit. If you haven't seen my video on how to carry out the adiabatic equation, I'll put a link at the top of the screen. 